There's nobody here. This is when you tell me that you're different. This is when you try to make me fall. Convince me it's true. But you didn't even have to try. Cause you can start a fire without a spark. Forget what I told you. Forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame. sunny Mexico. We are staying for the next five nights at Majestic Elegance Costa Mujeres. This is actually our second time here. We were here in 2019, just three weeks after they opened. I want to kind of see if it lives up to how great it was the first time. So we literally just checked in. It is 1230. Our room is not ready. However, if your room's not ready, it's no problem. You put on your bathing suit like we did and we are going to go find a drink and then we'll fill you in on how our travel day has been so far. was my absolute favorite drink when we were here the first time. So I had to start that off as my first drink of the trip. Cheers. Travel day today has been great. I tell you, I've never seen immigration empty. It was literally empty. We didn't even have our passports out. From getting off the plane to getting in our shuttle, 10 minutes door to door. It was wonderful. Also, if you are just joining the channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Brittany and my husband is Kevin. We were undiscovered, didn't care for one another, you and I. So we came over to the Mar House for lunch, which is the buffet. However, you do not serve yourself because of COVID, they serve you. And I just got some tacos and some chips with queso. And then Kevin got, same thing as me, he also got some mozzarella sticks, some french fries, and some pizza. Shots. Just kidding, those are not mine. <laughs> I, I have a Malibu and Club Soda, and I ordered Kevin a Bacardi and Club Soda, and also, I did not talk about my bathing suit today. My bathing suit is from Shein. Thought I'd still be feeling same as the beginning. We just got our room. I actually have not been there. Kevin went up there, and he said it's nice. beautiful. Kev's gonna play a little volleyball. So let's take a really quick peek at our room. It's a one bedroom Elegance Club suite and it is gorgeous. It's about 850 square feet. It's going to have a half bath, a really great size living room. Table, sofa, coffee maker, which is very important to me. There is no coffee shop here, so I will be utilizing that. And I did bring my own creamers. Mini bar, restocked daily. So open concept bathroom, king size bed. Pretty much like pretty standard. Very nice room though. But the view is the best part of the room. And we are facing the main pool, so it's a little bit loud right now, but gorgeous. This is going to make for some beautiful coffee drinking in the morning. Jacuzzi tub over in the corner. And a view of pretty much everything. We get to see the beautiful beach, 
We get to the main pool. We're gonna head out for dinner. We are gonna go to the Asian for dinner and we do not have reservations. We're just gonna walk in. There are two restaurants here that require reservations and that's the Asian if you're going to do the hibachi tapenaki table and then French bistro. However, we are just gonna do the regular menu at Asian so we're just gonna walk in. And since it's the first night here, I just felt like going pretty cash. So my shirt is from Old Navy and my shorts are from Walmart. His outfit, his shirt is from Abercrombie and shorts are from TJ Maxx. Got a uh, passion fruit mojito. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. What'd you get? I don't know. Well, the other one was coconut. I don't know what this was. dinner we went to the Asian it didn't go exactly as planned so when we were here last time you could order off of a regular menu if you were just sitting at the tables not at the tapenaki or the hibachi table it's not like that now likely due to COVID you could only order sushi so that was a little different and we listened to some live music that was great and then right after that it was an African circus show and these people were so strong. And it was unlike any circus show that I've seen. So I liked it, it wasn't what I was expecting. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. Thanks for watching, bye. I turn everything around.